some online discussions and uh, it's reached a point where I need to make a demonstration. So this is it. The dangling left thumb exercise. Um, this is something that you can do if you use a Rockstro style three point support system for your flute. Um, there still can often be a tendency to grip the flute with the left hand uh, involving the left thumb. And one way of stopping yourself doing that is to practice playing with your left thumb not supporting the flute, not in contact with the tube at all. Now obviously you can't really do that on a boom system flute because of the open standing keys for the left thumb, the, the B and B flat levers. Uh, though you can practice the posture that way, but you can't really practice playing. But on a, a keyless flute, like a, a Baroque Traverso, or on a simple system flute where you've got a, a closed B flat thumb key, you can actually play the instrument properly, provided don't need that B flat key, um, and practice doing so with your left hand, with your left thumb, free from the instrument and not providing part of the support, which frees up these left hand fingers. Um, but to do it, you've got to have your right hand right and your right thumb doing the, the rock stroke, pushing away thing like that, not under the flute. If you have it under the flute, you'll, and you stop holding the flute with the left hand, you'll start holding it with the right hand instead, which will seize these fingers up. But if you've got the, the three-point pressure support thing, you can actually not use the left thumb on the flute at all. And it's a, it's a good exercise for freeing up the fingers. Um, useful for bone players if they've got left-hand death grip. Um, so, I'll try and show you what I mean. On the traverso first. So... And so on. Okay, um, now, now go to an eight key simple system flute um, and basically exactly the same thing applies. stable with playing open C sharp, uh, no fingers on at all, you don't need this thumb. Thumb keys, so you can't play 
way below C without using the thumb. But if you want this thumb free to act well on its key and not be <coughs> squeezing the flute, because that's what people tend to do is squeeze the flute to hold it, which seizes up these fingers and the thumb. So if you want fluid thumb and finger motion, you need not to be holding the flute. So, so you can't actually do play practice, but you can you know, sort of mime things on on an, and the same on a standard boom system. Again, you've got the thumb keys, but so you can't actually play a tune on it, but you can do this, and the flute is absolutely stable. You don't need the thumb, and it's then much easier. Thumb, which is what tends to happen. <laughs>